World Autism Awareness Day is celebrated worldwide on the 2nd of April. Autism South Africa says the country still has a long way to go in the care offered to children with special needs, especially when it comes to schooling. News from Africa's Ziko Chona brings us this report. Standerton in Pumalanga is where we find Tandi Sibeko, whose 10-year-old son has never set foot in a classroom. The closest school for children with special needs is in Secunda, about 60 kilometers away. Like seriously, good song, Akolo, because naming a phone in Pil. I'm not saying good he is a parent to me. God do I get Jungle Moon to now we are doing a good thing and a upile, a corner, a good thing, open in Pil yourself. I can't because of Ancongo Sevenza. She acknowledges that her son has missed out on important early child development needs, but says between adult diapers and food, scholar transport is simply not affordable. She has also had to sacrifice living with her family. If he breaks a lot of things like TV, cups, yeah, so I decided to know what he's having. If only Linda, we are, as you can see, he's having a lot of cooking with him and his colleagues. See, 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 he grand yake. People have thrown all sorts of myths her way accusing her of being bewitched or not having done right by her ancestors. Added to the discrimination, Tandi is forever panicking about her child's safety. It's not safe for him in uh, 2017. He was raped by a neighbor. We understand that people knowing about the situation I can then they took advantage of that. So it's quite an Sometimes I even feel scared. What's home that home makes it school because I don't know what's he who fits and an I even get Naboma Kelwani or what somebody they will hurt him. She says her child's rapist was sentenced to eight years imprisonment last year. Another Stanerton family is raising a nine year old autistic child who last set foot in a classroom when he was seven years old, when the family was living in Pretoria. Parents say Secunda is way too far to travel for school. I don't think they care about these kids on my side. I don't believe they care about these kids. Starting with the society that I need to explain my child is like this. That's, that shows me that the government doesn't have so much awareness about autism. The parents say even relatives have said hurtful things. It's like when we went home last time to my uh, home, uh, you find out the, the, the relative. People, they tend to say, no, ubo pi, wanganda stelo nani, ubo pi ngomto anando. So ngomto anando, it's like, bam fancy, you see. So then they need love, whatever, any hour, any second, they only need love. You talk love, you act love. Then there are the stairs at the shops or at a doctor's visit. We want to shop with him. We want to, him to go and choose the things which he wants. But at the end of the day, in the shop, there will be chaos now because of him. He wants to take all the things. Autism South Africa says while the problem is not in Pumalanga alone, it says the province has a long way to go. Really, in Pumalanga, we do have a lot of children out of school, it is quite uh, uh, strenuous for the parents. I just would like to say to to fellow parents like me, because I'm also a mom myself, um, let us just, uh, you know, hang in there, let us push, let us push for our children to, to get uh, the education they deserve. Um, inclusion equals everyone. The Mpumalanga Education Department has urged parents of children with special needs to come forward. In the province, we've got seven schools, of, of, of which are public ordinary schools that accommodate learners with autism, and it accommodates about 90 learners uh, in total. And also have two registered private schools that are also accommodating learners uh, with autism. However, if there is a parent who is actually struggling in terms of spacing their children, 
you know, in any special school in the province, they can, you know, forward their names through you. Then we can get their contacts and make sure that the learners are being assessed accordingly and subsequently placed in a school that will actually accommodate their special needs. The parents say having a school that is nearby would mean that their children are accepted in society and it would help raise awareness in their communities about autism. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Zikona Chona in Standerton, Bumalanga.